So this appears to be the extent of my bullet lipstick collection. I'm going to zoom out so you can actually see the full disaster that's currently on my floor. First, I want to go through these like lip pencil things that I have. Um, this one is still in the packaging. This is by It Cosmetics. It's a lip liner stain. Should I put this in my lip liner category? Yeah, that's a pretty color. That's definitely something that I would wear, so I am going to hang on to that and try it out. This is one that I actually forgot I even had. This is by Hourglass. It's the Lip Stylo, I think is what it's called, in Peacemaker. This color is absolutely gorgeous. It's that one right there. Um, it's a nice, like, peachy nude, so I'm definitely going to hold on to that one as well. This is by Trustique. I really like Trustique um, lip products. I'm not positive if they are cruelty-free, but I got these before I decided to go cruelty-free. Um, but, yeah, that is that one right there. Can you tell that I have a type? <laughs> And also, um, clearly not doing that great yet, but this is another one by Trustique. This is in the color Chili Red. And what are these even called? They're their mini matte lip crayon, but this color red is really nice. I really like these lip products because they are nice and creamy, so I am also going to hold on to that one. This is by Nude Sticks. I've never even opened this. It still has like the plastic seal on it. This is their Magnetic Matte Lip Color in Vino. Um, since it hasn't been opened, I am going to hold on to it. I have heard really good things about Nude Sticks products and I do want to try that one. This is, what is this? A Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Bomb Stain Moisturizing Lip Color in Truffle in Paradise. I didn't even know that I had this. I didn't know that these lip products existed. So Lord only knows when I got this, but I'm just gonna open it to swatch it real quick. Okay. All right. So that is what that looks like. And let's see. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I know it says it's like a bomb stain, so I kind of understand why the consistency is the way it is. It's very sheer, very like, looks like it's going to be very hydrating. So I will try this out um, since I haven't tried it yet, and uh, maybe I'll declutter it in the future if I don't like it, but for now I do want to hold on to it. I had another pencil, but I don't know where it went right now, so it might turn up later. But for now, I'm just going to get the products out of the way that I know I'm like 110% keeping. Wow, there's cat hair everywhere. Cool. This is by Flower Beauty. It is their Petal Pout Lip Color in Peachy Nude. I just got this recently and I'm pretty obsessed with this color. It's a really nice peach. It's very flattering on my particular skin tone, so I am going to hang on to that one. Oh, here's that pencil that I was just talking about. This is by Ulta. It's the Matte Lip Crayon in Soiree. This hasn't even been opened. Um, I just bought this on Ulta recently. They were having a sale, like buy two, get two free, as they so frequently do. So I decided I wanted to try this out, but I haven't opened it yet, and I don't feel like opening it right now. But it does look like a really beautiful color, like kind of like a wine-ish berry color, which I'm really into right now. So I will be holding on to that. Okay, this one, this one I think I'm gonna declutter. This is by NYX. This is their Lip Smacking Fun Color Lipstick in 628. Um, oh, that's really pretty. <laughs> you know, these colors aren't the most flattering on my skin tone. Um, it is quite pink. It's quite pink. But do I have any other bullet lipstick like this? This might go in a maybe pile. So I'm going to have three piles. I'm going to have my keep, my declutter, which anything I declutter, if it's old or expired or smells weird, it's going to go in the garbage. And if it is good but has been like used a considerable amount, not like to the point where it's like 
you know, almost done, but to the point where I would feel weird donate. Well, I can't donate it if it's used. <laughs> where I'd be weird selling it to like a stranger. Um, I might see if like my friends or my family want it, and then if it's like barely touched, I might put it on my Poshmark. So I will leave my Poshmark link down below in every single one of these videos, just in case you guys are curious. Um, but one that I definitely know I am going to declutter is this one. This is NYX Razzle Fiesta. It's like their butter lipstick, I think. Um, this one is just a bit too, um, oh great, I'm running out of space. A bit too pink for me. Hold, please. So, as I was saying, this one, it's a bit too, like, bright magenta for me. Not my cup of tea, so this one is going to be decluttered. Yay! I'm getting rid of one. So proud. Let's go through... You know what? Let's just finish off through the rest of these NYX Butter Lipsticks. I really like this color. This is in Pops Explosive. What? Um... That's a beautiful color. That is my kind of shade. That is an everyday shade for me, so I will be hanging on to that one. This, on the other hand, in Hot Tamale, I want to be the type of person who can like pull off these bright oranges, but I just can't. But I really don't have anything like this in my collection. God, Jamie, don't be this way. Don't be this way. But I really don't have anything else like this. Oh boy. I'm gonna come back to that one. Wow, guys, I am so sorry. I'm doing so bad right now. Um, this is in the shade Little Susie. I actually really do enjoy this color. It's more of like a like muted hot pink. It has a little bit of like a rosy tint to it. Um, I am going to hold on to that one because I do wear that quite a bit in the spring and summertime. This is a Tom Ford lipstick in 57 Jude, which I bought before I went cruelty free because Tom Ford is not cruelty free. But y'all, this was expensive and I don't feel comfortable getting rid of it. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I am going to hold on to this because I think it is a really pretty color and for how big this lipstick is, it was so expensive. So yeah, that's dang. Let's jump over to this random one. This is by Duce, D-O-U-C-C-E, and it has no shade name on it. Fantastic. So this is a red color. And yeah, that's a really nice red, but I'm keeping the one from Trustique, and I really don't need that many red lipsticks because honestly, I don't wear red lipstick that often because it just kind of intimidates me and like, I don't want to wear it to work because it's just like messy, I feel like, self-conscious about getting it on my teeth. And while this is a really beautiful color, I think I will have a couple of friends who would get more use out of this than me. So this is going to be decluttered. This one by Anastasia. This one really let me down when I bought it. This is the staunch matte liquid lipstick, uh, not liquid lipstick, matte lipstick. Now, the color is really cool. It's like this like cool toned, dark brown nude, but these are so hard to apply. They're incredibly matte, but like I have matte lipsticks in my collection that are very like creamy and easy to apply. This is so rough on my lips. It skips. It just isn't fun to apply. And yeah, I bought it with my own money, so it kind of sucks because this is probably like, you know, $20 upwards, you know? But I am going to pass this along to a friend because I simply don't wear it and I don't enjoy wearing it. So these are all my ColourPop lippy sticks. Um, okay, so I have Trust Me, which is a wonderful, like, matte red. Put it over here. Um, I really like their Matte X formula, so I am going to hold on to that one. This is Creature, which is a matte formula as well, but it's more of like a creamy matte. Um, 
This color is okay. It's just I don't typically like wearing colors this dark. I don't think they're the most flattering on me, so I am actually going to pass that one on. This is Birdie. I actually have two Birdies. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where the other one is at the moment. But I do have two Birdies. So, oh wait, is this a Birdie? No, that's not. Um, technically, yeah, I don't need both, but I'm afraid that I lost the other one. Let me just swatch it to remind myself what it looks like. Um, so that's it right there. It is quite a light nude, but, um, I don't know. I feel like this wasn't the most flattering on my skin tone. And you know what? I never reached for it, so I am going to go ahead and pass that one along. Um, this is in the shade Glam Bag. It was like an Ipsy collaboration, and this is the Matte X formula. I know I just decluttered that NYX lipstick that, like, looks like this. But, um, I really like this formula, and if I ever have the urge to wear a color like this, I feel like I would reach for this formula, so I am going to hold on to that one. I have Taurus, which was the Kathleen Lights collab with ColourPop. That's Taurus right there. It, it is a really cool color, like, don't get me wrong, that's super unique. It's just not flattering on me so i am going to go ahead and declutter that one okay so i think i have do i have two yeah i have two aquarius lippy sticks which was also kathleen lights um collab this is my favorite nude lipstick of all time i will repurchase this again and again i actually went through an entire one and then i bought two when they were having like a buy one get one half off sale or something and i yeah. Oh, here's the other birdie. Guys, I found it. <laughs> Alright, I'm decluttering that one as well. Um, yeah, I'm keeping both Aquariuses because, like I said, I really do love them. This is Lumi Air, which again, <laughs> Kathleen collab. Kathleen is one of my favorite people on YouTube, so of course I support every collab she does. And I really do enjoy this color, and I really love the color pop. Um, matte formula not the matte x just the regular matte it's really comfortable and then this is hotline which oh right okay this one needs to go i don't know if you guys can really like tell but this is just oh it like went down it's just like a melted mess i do not know what happened with this one but i went to wear it the other day and it just it's like too creamy to the point where it's like it, it doesn't feel like this formula is correct anymore. I'm not sure what happened. So, unfortunately, I am going to go ahead and let that one go. And then this was um, another ColourPop. <sighs> My neighbor does this every single day. I'm just gonna have to talk over it because he literally sits there and stalls for like 10 minutes at a time. I don't know. So anyway, this is another ColourPop lip. This is their blotted lip formula in Bees Knees. Mine kind of like pops out every time I open it. Um, no, oh, yeah, look at that. Wait, ah! It literally is completely fell out. But like, I can like make it work. <laughs> that is a really nice color. I do like this formula, um, but I never reach for it. I have colors that are similar to this and I have other formulas that I like more than this. I am actually going to pass that one on. This is one that's brand new to me. This is by Wet n Wild. This is the... I can't find the actual name of this and I'm pretty sure it was like Make Me Pink or something. Not Make Me Pink, like Tickled Pink. I don't know. I just got this. Um, very very recently and it is a lot brighter than I thought it was going to be but I do still want to test it out just because I really haven't worn this so I am going to go ahead and hold on to that one okay let's go through my Urban Decay Vice lipsticks because I do have quite a few here these are the two that I wear the most this is Violate 
which is this really pretty like purpley color. It reminds me a lot actually of Lumiere by ColourPop. And then this is Naked. Naked is just a little nub at this point because I like when I don't know what lip color to wear, I always go for this one. It's always in my bag when I'm on the go. So that's Violet and that is Naked and I absolutely love these so I'm keeping both of them. I think the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks are amazing. This one is in the color Trick. Now I thought this was like really cool when I bought it. I don't I don't know why. Guys, do you, do you see that? It is like purely just glitter. So that's going to get passed on just because I never ever wear that. <laughs> Another one that I don't know why I bought it. This is heroin. It's a comfort mat. It is blue. I'm not even going to do a huge swatch because it's a bitch to take off, but yep, it is a navy blue. When have you ever seen me wear blue lipstick, guys? Um, <laughs> another one. This is Pandemonium. It is a mega matte. And that's Pandemonium right there. To be honest, this one's a little patchy. Um... I'm also going to pass this one on because, like I said, I'm just not into crazy colors. Except this one I really do like. This is Bang Bang. Um, this is super cool. It's like this like Barbie pink with glitter in it. But it's not like chunky glitter. It's like shimmer. I don't know. This is like the one like crazy, crazy color that I have in my collection that I actually do like to wear. So I am going to hold on to that one. And then this is Disturbed. It is a comfort matte formula. That's that right there. I know I just got rid of, what was it, Creature by ColourPop that was kind of like a similar color. Um, but I do really like this formula. I'm gonna put this in my maybe pile and if I don't keep any other bullet lipsticks in this color, I will kind of revisit it and see if I want to keep it. This is by e.l.f. I actually wore this yeah, two days ago. This is in Razzle Dazzle Red. So that's Razzle Dazzle Red right there. Um, it's like this dark, kind of like, oxblood red color, but it has a little bit of like, like, a sheen to it like it kind of looks metallic in the tube but once you put it on your lips it's not really metallic it just has a little bit of like I was gonna say it has a little bit of metallicness but I don't know how to explain it um, I do like it it does bleed if you don't wear a lip liner with it so I do want <laughs> I do want to try it again with a lip liner and see if it still bleeds and if it does then I will pass it along but if it doesn't then I do want to keep it because I think the color is really pretty this is a Marc Jacobs lipstick it's just a little baby sample this is in the shade kiss kiss bang bang pretty sure this was like a point perk from Sephora or something. Look at how stunning that color is. Oh my gosh, this is my kind of color. And these lipsticks are so freaking comfortable. They last a long time. I am for sure keeping that. This is one by, I think this is Rimmel. Yeah, by Rimmel. It's number 14. It's like one of like the Kate. Yeah, lasting finish by Kate lipstick. In number 14. Now there was, oh, Everything's like effed up on that hand now. There was a period of time where I really, really liked this color, but something about it now just like doesn't really appeal to me. It's a little bit too on the cool tone side, and I don't know. It's just not my favorite anymore, so I am going to go ahead and pass that one along. I have three MAC lipsticks here. Now, if you're following my Project Pan, you know that Blankety is one that I'm trying to finish this year, and I'm almost there. I just have a little nub left. That's Blankety right there. This used to be my favorite nude, but of course, MAC is not cruelty-free, so I'm just really trying to finish this. So, of course, I'm going to hang on to it. And then we have Chili, which if I'm being honest, I don't think I've ever worn Chili. And this is Ruby Woo, which... Color is really nice, but it is 
possibly the most uncomfortable lipstick I've ever worn in my entire life. So I'm actually gonna pass both of these on. Um, speaking of my project pan, this is in it. And if you watched my last update, you know that I couldn't find this for the life of me. But this is Sheer Liar by Urban Decay. This is one that I am trying to finish this year. Wow, what a swatch. What a swatch. Um, but yeah, of course, I'm gonna hang on to that since it is in my project. I have these two Lorac lipsticks. What are these even called? Highly pigmented lipsticks. Uh, one, this is this is satin and this is creamy. Now this one I really do enjoy. This is in the shade Duchess. And wow, groundbreaking, another nude lipstick. But I really do like this formula a lot. Now I am going to hold on to it. And then this one I actually just got in a holiday set. I gave the rest of the set away to friends, but this one is in the shade Daydreamer. Ugh, that is just my kind of color. Like when I'm not wearing a nude, I am wearing a color like this. So definitely gonna hang on to that one. Um, these are Tarte Rainforest of the Sea lipsticks. I got these in a little holiday set during Christmas time. So that's the four of them right there. I think this is a really cute little set. Um, I do really like this formula. I'm gonna hang on to all four of those. Speaking of holiday sets, I got one from Bite Beauty. Now, one of these was not in that set. I don't remember which one was not in that set. But I love these lipsticks. I had always wanted to try the Amuse Bouge, blah, Amuse Bouge lipsticks, and they did not disappoint. That is sugar cane right there. And then we have honeycomb, which is so pretty. Ugh, love honeycomb. Then we have rhubarb. 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 It's a really pretty, like, dark, rosy color. This is cayenne. Part of me feels like that's one that wasn't in the set, but holy shit, that is intense, and I love it. And this is Gazpacho. Okay, e either one of those was not in the set, but... <sighs> huh. So I'm definitely keeping the three nude colors. Now, okay. I want to compare this to the Trustique. Trustique is right here. That's Trustique. So Trustique, if anything, is most like the, what was that called? Rhub rhubarb? No, cayenne. It's most like cayenne. It's a little bit more sheer than cayenne, or I guess a little bit less intense. I'm definitely keeping gazpacho. 100%. I'm keeping gazpacho because I think that is like the perfect red. But then I want to compare it to Matte X because guys, honestly, I really don't need that many red lipsticks. Like I said, like it's a very rare occasion for me to wear red. <sighs> All right. I see a difference in every single one. <laughs> I can always justify keeping makeup and it fucking is a sickness. Oh, uh, you know what? The matte X, it's a different finish, so I'm gonna keep it because it is matte, it, and it's like matte. Not just matte, it's matte. Um, the Trustique I like because it's a less intense version of a red, and then Gazpacho and Cayenne are both just different. Like, Gazpacho, no, what was that? Cayenne has a little bit of like an orange undertone to it. Okay, well. I'm gonna keep all of them. <laughs> oh my god, what is wrong with me? So we're getting down to the end of my bullet lipsticks. Can't wait till we tackle our liquid lipsticks because good god I have a lot. Um here, here's the rest of my bullet lipsticks. Um and then there's more like over here that I can't fit in the frame right now, but I want to go through my Maybelline lipsticks because once upon a blue moon. This is my favorite lipstick formula, hence why I have so many. Hmm, there's another one. 
So let's just go through these real fast. Um, I'm gonna stand them up for myself just so I can see the colors. So I have my pinks, my nude, my like cool tone brown colors, my reds, and my crazy colors. So, <sighs> Make Me Pink used to be the only thing I wore on my lips. It actually pains me that Maybelline is not cruelty free. Just for these lipsticks. Like, I don't have any other Maybelline products in my collection that I'm like attached to. But these, it's just like, they were so inexpensive and they are so good. Make me pink and needs to needs to sit over there while I while I think this through. Now, touch of spice. This is one that like the shape of the bullet, it kind of just got like short and fat, and it's like hard to apply precisely. And I feel like I have other colors like this. So I'm gonna let this one go. Lust for blush. This one, kind of the same thing. Like, look how much I've used this. Like, that's all I have left. So you can really tell that, like, I used to be obsessed with these lipsticks. That's Lust for Blush right there. Ravis Ravishing Rose. Okay, see, now that's one that I don't have a problem letting go of because that is a little too like fluorescent-y for me, so I am going to pass that one on. This is Pink and Chic. See, that's another one that I can never pull off. It's too bright. I'm gonna pass that one on. This is Truffle Tease. Oh, truffle Tease, oh my gosh. Uh, that is so pretty. I don't know. I have, to, I have to think about that one. Go sit with Make Me Pink and just... <sighs> Alright. Bit of Berry, 175. I've had this for a long time, but I haven't really like used much of it. That's Bit of Berry right there, and I feel like I do have other colors like that that I've kept already, so I feel comfortable passing that one on. I've had that for a long time. I got my use out of it, you know? Um, this is very cherry. Holy shit, this used to be my absolute, like, go-to favorite red. I always would get complimented when I wore this red. But I just kept so many red lipsticks that this one has to go. Ugh, that one actually really hurts. <laughs> ah! And then we have these crazy colors. We have Smoked Silver, Blackest Berry, and Violet Vixen. And I do think it is fun to have some colors. Not that I ever wear them, but uh, you know, just in case. So this is Smoked Silver, and it's just a straight up gray. This is Blackest Berry. See, I don't like colors like this on me, so I am going to pass that one on. This is Violet Vixen. Now, I got rid of the Urban Decay purple that was like this, and this formula seems to be better than that one for that specific shade. It's not patchy. Then we have Gone Grage, which is a color that I remember really liking. It's just like this grayish brown. Super pretty, and then we have Silk Stone. Oh wow, that is really unique. That's Silk Stone right there. I'm going to keep Gone Grage, Silk Stone, Violet Vixen, and Smoked Silver. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep these, but I also really like Truffle Teas. Oh my god, this is so hard. As I'm looking at it, Make Me Pink doesn't seem like a color I'm going to be gravitating towards anymore. Once upon a time, it was my favorite, but you know what? I will pass it on. Ooh, that one hurts. Lust for Blush, yeah, it's pretty, but I've gotten my use out of it. But you know what? Like, I don't feel comfortable passing this along to family or friends because I have like almost used it down to the bone. But, like, I don't want to toss it because it's perfectly fine. 
I'm gonna hold on to this one. These are by Max Studio, which is a brand that you can find at TJ Maxx, and I honestly haven't gotten much use out of them yet. I do still want to keep them because I am still testing them out, so I will hold on to those. These are by CoverGirl. Now, this one, I'm not even going to swatch just because I know this color is not going to be flattering on me. It's just too bright of a pink, so I will pass that on. I might see if my mom wants that one. Pretty sure she got that for me, so hey, going back to you, mom. Um, this is Power Peony. Again, it's just like, you can't even really tell. It's just like a really like light, bright pink. Not flattering on my skin tone. This is Divine Wine. I mean, yeah, that's pretty and then this is euphoria i can get rid of euphoria just because i have a lot of colors like that um divine wine is unique but did i keep anything like that i just kept that like really intense purple i'm gonna put that in my maybe pile as well i have two like tinted lip balms here. This one is by NYX. I'm not even gonna try and swatch it for you because you can't really see a swatch, but this is what it is. This is in Panna, Panna Cotta. Um, this is super, super old. Tinted lip balms are just not my thing, so I'm gonna pass that on. And this is the Sugar Nude Tinted Lip Treatment. Um, oh my God, do you guys see? Wow, I just went to swatch this. And it is completely like melted. Okay, cool. Guess you're going in the garbage. Made my decision <laughs> super easy for me. And this appears to be my final four bullet lipsticks. This one is by Pretty Vulgar. This is in the shade Baby Doll Against BS. <laughs> like, you could have named it literally anything else, Pretty Vulgar. That color is stunning, and I really have not worn this enough to have a opinion on it, so I am gonna keep it for now. This is by Jordana. This is Matte Classy. It's their modern matte lipstick. I got this off of Leanne Says's recommendation like a long time ago. That's it right there, and I do really enjoy this color. However, I feel like I remember the formula being a bit too drying for me, so I am going to pass that one on. And last but not least, we have a Glossier. I don't know what this is called, but it just, it looks like this. You know, it's one of their little lip products here. And this kind of reminds me of the Tristique one, so let me just compare. Um, no, I mean, Tristique definitely is more red. The Glossier, it's not that it's not red, it's just very sheer. Um, you know what? I didn't keep the ColourPop one that reminds me a lot of this, so I am going to keep this one. Oh, and one more that I missed. This is by Makeup Forever. I got this at Gen Beauty two years ago. This is C211. And guys, I really like this. Um... I know Makeup Forever isn't cruelty free, but this is special to me because I went to Gen Beauty with my mom and we both picked out our like lip color. I don't know. Um, no, I'm gonna hold on to this one just because I really do like that color a lot and I will get use out of it. Which brings us back to my maybe pile. NYX Tea Rose, let's see. That's Tea Rose. You know what? The undertone really doesn't do it for me, so I am going to pass that one on. I'm going to con compare Truffle Teas to my NYX Butter Lipstick here. That's incredibly different. Um, did I keep any other color like this? Like, Guys, I'm going to keep it. If, if I end up finding a dupe in my liquid lipsticks, I will end up decluttering it because I would rather keep something cruelty-free over something not cruelty-free, but... It's really good, so I'm gonna keep it for now. My Disturbed by Urban Decay. No, I really didn't keep anything close to this. And, oh, it's like a little heart. I didn't mean to do that. Um, I am gonna hold on to it for the time being. And then 
You know what? I am going to keep the orange just because I honestly have no orange anything in here. I might have one liquid lipstick, but just different. And then Divine Wine. Divine Wine. Will I wear this? Yeah, I might. So I'm going to keep that one. Alright, I'm going to tally this up and I will let you guys know how many I decluttered and how many I am keeping. Okay, so I am decluttering 29, keeping 50. Which means that I had 79 <laughs> lipsticks and we haven't even gone through the, <laughs> the majority of my collection. Um, I am happy that I'm getting rid of at about 30. I think that that's really good. That's a good number. Yeah, I guess we'll see how I do on the rest of my declutter. I thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video was a little bit on the long side, but a lot of you told me that these are your favorite kinds of videos to watch. They're mine too. I've been eat, sleep, and breathing declutter videos lately, and I love when they're long, so I hope that you enjoyed this one, and I will see you in my next one.